AITA for refusing to switch my son to an all-vegan diet? I, 22F, have a 3-year-old with my ex. 27M, when I found out I was pregnant we were together for 2 years and he had proposed 2 months before. It was public, we both posted about it. At first he was excited but when I was 7 months he broke up with me and moved out. I asked if he was going to be involved and he said no and blocked me everywhere. Our son is 3 now. Earlier this year he reached out to me saying he's matured and regrets not being in our son's life. I asked how he's matured and what's changed in the 3 years he's been no contact and he said that. He has a new lifestyle and this and that. Come to find out he's married to a hardcore hippie vegan and living a completely different life. He lives on a farm now and has a lot of animals. None he makes profit off of. I was beyond shocked. He also doesn't smoke or drink and is just so different. I spoke to my boyfriend, friends, and parents and they said to give him a chance. He offered to start paying for his daycare and has been since May. I allowed him to meet my son in a supervised setting at the farm. I wanted to see the horses and animals lol. And met his wife. She inherited the farm and completely redesigned it. She was teaching me and my sisters about her raw organic vegan lifestyle and fed us a potato stew. She made. It was really good and I thought things went well. They seemed trustable. We've done a few more supervised visits throughout the year and I only now feel comfortable letting him stay overnights alone. They feed him vegan and I don't mind. The issue is they sat me down recently and asked that I start feeding him vegan full time since it's much better for him in the world and that since he wants more involvement it makes sense he has a plant-based lifestyle. I said no. I myself am not vegan and they are not even the vegan chicken nuggets from Walmart type. They are the strictly raw fruits and vegetables type and that's asking me to learn a whole other type of cooking. They offer to meal prep during my time. He said in 2024 he wants 50-50 custody but that if I be difficult, he will go for full custody. Citing our age and income difference and that I still live with my parents. I told him by threatening me he can see me in court and left. One of my sisters that came with me to a few of the visits has been vegetarian for many years now. And she says I am being unreasonable since it's healthier for him and they even offered to cook all his meals. And that by eating vegan for a while. It will mess up his digestive system if he eats meat and to just choose one and that since it's a lifestyle for them and he will be involved in it. To just agree or I am the asshole. AITA? NTA your ex is trying to bully you. Pretty rich considering he was absent for the first three years of your son's life. I'd get some legal advice after the threats he has made. When your son is in your care it's up to you what you feed him but you could also get professional. Advice on the nutritional needs for a three-year-old. NTA get a lawyer, get your custody worked out, including child support, retroactively, and feed that child as you see fit. Your ex has just replaced one way of being an asshole with another. NTA. So your husband can date a 17 years old, break a marriage proposal, and leave his child behind for three years. But you would be the criminal for feeding your son meat? He said in 2024 he wants 50-50 custody but that if I be difficult, he will go for full custody. He was absent for the first three years of his son's life and now wants to change something fundamental in his life but thinks he'll get 50-50 custody. B-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. N-T-A. Do not let this threat scare you. It's as empty as they come. But it's still a threat. Write down exactly what he said while it's fresh in your mind. Keep a record of how it's all gone since he reappeared. Talk to your lawyer. And go back to supervised visits only. You said that your child's father walked out of your life and blocked you when you were 7 months pregnant. 
Is he even legal dad at this point? Because if not he can pound San. He has zero say in your son's life until he goes to court and files for paternity and visitation. After three years absent a court won't give 5050 or full custody. Visitation would be supervised initially. You can find out what type of visitation schedule is typical in your state. In mine it's recently been changed to 5050 as the standard though obviously that doesn't work in all cases. NTA. And this isn't about vegan. It's about him trying to exert control over you and your son. As soon as he threatened to go for full custody, you were 100% right to cut him off. NTA. And while your sister is right that it can be hard for a non-meat eater to process meat, he'll only be gone for a week at a time. Sorry dad. You can't vanish for three years and then come back and expect full custody because of your own dietary choices. It sounds like the wife understands nutrition, but vegan diets can be very difficult to get all of the protein and nutrients one needs and kids can be trouble enough getting them to eat right, especially when it's not even ops lifestyle. This vegan stuff might be just a diversion to make you weak and to distract you from them trying to steal your child. Your ex is now paying for daycare to create a paper trail that he is taking care of your son. He will start to do more to gain control, make op look incompetent and to be able to show on paper that he has rights to your son. Don't get tempted by the money. See it more as a weapon that can be used against you. Check the laws in your state and even consider quietly moving away to a state with better laws and more protection for you and your son. NTAA raw vegan diet is absolutely not suitable for a small child. And I'm saying that as a someone who has been raising a vegan child for 10 years, who also has a qualification in child nutrition, it is hard. My daughter is allergic to eggs and dairy and we don't eat meat so we had to be under the care of a dietitian when she was very small. Until they were satisfied that I knew what I was doing. I would be very interested to see what they are feeding him as you just cannot get everything you need from raw fruit and vegetables. Ask them what they feed him when he's there. Under the pretense of learning how to feed him a vegan diet and get it reviewed by a health professional. I honestly think they're putting his health at risk. Also, it will make your life 10 times harder birthday parties, school dinners and trips. Holidays will all get really difficult and he'll be that raw vegan kid that no one wants to invite to their birthday party. He is unlikely to want to do it anyway. If you ask him if he wants to give up chocolate and cupcakes for carrots and kale, what do you think he'd say? Also it's just not their decision. NTA. Kind of jaw dropping that he has the gall to come back and pull that. And never let him have 50-50 custody. Courts won't give him full custody unless you are bringing your kid to drug deals or putting the child in imminent danger. NTA. You were 17 and 22 when you started dating? He then walked out on you at 19 years old, 7 months pregnant, and left you alone to raise your child for 3 years and now he threatens to get full custody because you won't feed your child a diet that does not give a growing toddler all the vitamins it needs? Stop any visitation. Do not let him keep paying daycare. And get a lawyer. NTA I myself am a vegan and think it would be great for you to try it out but he comes traipsing back after three years as a deadbeat dad and starts laying down the law even if he is eager for you to come around to his way of thinking does he really think bullying is the way to do it get a good divorce attorney and do not let him make threats like that p s your lousy sister is ta Two for debating the health values of veganism rather than your ex thinking he can dictate how you raise your kid. A raw organic vegan lifestyle wouldn't include potato stew. 
NTA. I would lawyer up if I were you. He'll probably try for custody. It's a matter of opinion whether a vegan diet is healthier for a three-year-old. An opinion I don't share. Furthermore, it's totally unreasonable for a father who's been out of his son's life to sweep in and demand you. Change your son's diet. I'm not sure what he thinks the age difference will mean in terms of gaining custody. But I would think the fact that you've been the only parent for most of your son's life will weigh much more heavily with the court. NTA. Dad is going to have a very hard time getting full custody after abandoning baby for three years. I wouldn't allow any more visits without a court order. NTA. He's barely a part of your son's life and now thinks he can demand you change everything after parenting alone for three years? And he is going to make it hard for you in court because income differences? Wonder what he will think when you respond by going after him for three years of non-support. Vegan is a choice one that he's not old enough to make himself. He would grow up being more likely to potentially develop sensitivities, intolerances, allergies to foods if he's deprived of it at such a young age. You can eat organic and not be vegan. I am gluten-free. Not by choice. And I eat organic. But I still get to enjoy foods I grew up enjoying. There are so many ways to eat healthy without having to be vegan and rule out everything. I personally just think it'd be a bit cruel and I'd refuse just like you. NTA Raw potatoes are poisonous. Please don't eat potatoes raw and definitely don't give them, don't let anyone else give them to a child. Since he decided to threaten you, I'd check into statutory rape laws in your state. You were a child. He was an adult. File charges if you can. Kinda hard to get custody when you're in prison. But if 17 was legal, it's time to halt all visits. Get a lawyer and make him deal in court. Document all threats and demands from his family to show you're under constant harassment. It won't look good that a grown man manipulated and impregnated a child, abandoned her, and years later is now threatening and sending people to harass her. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.